Ladies and gentlemen, we have six-man tag team action coming up. And given who's involved in this one, I assure you that you don't want to miss this one. Trust me. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. Big match here oh. as we kick off this three-on-three -three contest. Looking at the six competitors we have in the ring tonight, I think it's safe to say that we're entering dream match territory right now. And a big boot. That elbow will leave you dazed. Doing damage with the knee now. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Things starting to go the other way for her. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. Well, it would be crazy to expect her to go through this entire match without taking on some punishment. I don't even think Saxton thought that would happen. She's really had a tough time getting out of the gates here Man. tonight. She needs to make a change, and she needs to make it now. Do something fast. She works her way out of the hole. And I don't know how. That was locked in pretty good. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Oh, and the headbutt. Oh, stop in the leg. Just nasty. idea how the official missed her doing that. I mean, but she's taking advantage of it, that's for sure. Ruby Riot is anti-establishment. She's an anarchist and someone who takes aim at those born with a silver spoon in their mouths. When it comes to Ruby, it is down with the system. I need to agree with that. Ruby is controlled, calculated, and possesses an abundance of self-confidence. All I hear is whining from you two. It's because of Ruby Riot's fantastic qualities that the Riot Squad is one cohesive unit. And the inspirational leader of the group is one of the premier competitors in WWE today. Look at Paige making her moves. Paige! With a Paige Turner! She got it! Paige is rolling now. Paige wants to put it away. Oh, rip, 
Reigns. Oh, it's over. She goes for the cover. Two count and a kick out. It's going to take more than that. Well, oh, she wants this win bad. I think things are about to get turned upside down. I think you are correct. In off the tag. Oh, my God! Right back into their own corner. Well, if that's any indication, she's not taking any prisoners in this one. Nice job by Ruby Riot in there. Her partner's looking to get in this match now. First time for everything, I guess. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. A well-placed kick. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double-team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. But if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. And she strikes with great precision. She wishes she could have gotten out of the way of that one. Face crusher! There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh, Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match. Breaks down into a pier six brawl. Mandy Rose is getting ready. The human body can only absorb so much of that. That one definitely hurt, Cole. The night could be over for Liv Morgan. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erics. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions, don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These, she goes for the cover. She got the shoulder up in time. How did he do that? On oh, a vicious assault. That should do it right there. And Mandy Rose gets out of the pinfall. She's still in this one. We have Mandy Rose competing here tonight. Let's talk strategy, Byron. Let me start with... Actually, I'll take this, Cole. There is no strategy when taking on Mandy Rose. She's God's greatest creation. You literally cannot compete with that. Case closed. Question over. I think she's trying to prove a Jeez. point here. Here's Ruby Riot. Looks like we might just... There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Well, we had Corey giving his uh, unbiased strategy discussion concerning Mandy Rose before. Byron, do you have an answer now? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Mandy can be defeated. And you need to neutralize her absolution ally, Sonya Deville. Together, they can be tough to beat. But if you work on them one at a time, it's possible to earn a win. 
This can go a variety of different ways, Corey, and almost none of them are good. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Corey, tell me, just how much strength does carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. It's not very often you see six superstars with Gallagher good with a kick. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. She goes for the cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. maneuver by Paige. Wow, what a move by Paige. How is Sarah Logan gonna survive? The crowd relief! Wow, what a move by Paige. One of my favorite submission moves in all of the WWE. What a six-man tag match. Let's take another look at these women in action. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. From the opening bell, this match was won for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Here are your winners, Mandy Rose, Paige, and Sonya. And it's Paige finishing this one off for the team. Hey, this isn't just about going out there and making sure everybody's entertained. You gotta win your matches. And that's exactly what happened here. A will to win was on display. Don't adjust your TV, folks. This Vegas crowd really is this loud.